Hi guys. Hey, we got a little uh, project we're working on here in the boring mill. And uh, bearing spun on the shaft there. This was kind of hard to set up, so I thought I might show it, share it. So what I did is I just got some spacers underneath the shaft. And I figure that's going to hold it straight that way. And then I took an indicator and swept it around around here too. And there's a self-lining bearing that goes on both sides, so I think it'll be all right. So I think I'm about at my last pass here. And so I'll fire up the machine and let you watch it do a little turning with the boring mill. But I wanted to show you my boring mill too because uh, there's a lot of things missing off of it now. Mostly like paint. I've been uh, chipping away on it with a needle scaler. Remember how the paint was all chipped and cracked up and coming off in big old chunks? So we've been working at it. The tail stock, I did all off. That's the back side. And you kind of remember, that's kind of the way it was looking like there. See all the big, uh, the big flakes of paint that come off? Okay, now up here, I tried to use some of that citrus, citrus stuff here. And see all it's doing is lifting up the top top coat. And you can peel it off, but then you still got another coat under it. So I don't know, I just been taking my needle scaler and taking it clear down clear down to the bottom. I don't know if you can see how oops sorry. I don't know if you can see how thick that paint was, but it was pretty thick. So that's kind of what I've been doing on this thing. And I'm down to Oh, about right there on the bottom. So I got that much there to do. And then and then I got the column to do. And some more areas, but... And in between here... Uh, got all the paint stripped off of there. So, even with, you know, without the paint, it looks better than it did before. So, let's uh, get the machine fired up and we'll make a test cut. This will be my final, about my final cut, I think.
different shots. So you don't fall asleep on this thing. Here's a little uh, view of how I set my depth. So the depth gauge on top or dial indicator and then uh, doing a cross slide. And then by turning that wheel you can move that slide in or out. of the finished product here. I kind of dressed it up a little bit. I took and beveled this edge off with a sander. And uh, that's the way we turned out. You can see where I quit welding, but gosh, if you run your finger across there, you can just barely feel any difference all the way around it. So maybe a slight difference, but I'm sure it's going to go around and throw the dirt around. Anyway, thanks for watching.